Hello, I'm here to assist you with any questions or tasks you have. I apologize for any confusion, but I'm not Siri. I'm ChatGPT. One moment. As an AI language model, I don't have direct access to the internet. My responses are generated based on the information and training data. Starting today, you can connect your Siri, Apple Siri, with ChatGPT as the backend. And in fact, you can use the invoke command and then say, hey Siri, and then start using ChatGPT in the backend just with voice. This is quite amazing. And in this video, we're going to see the step-by-step -step guide of how to do the same. To start with, first we need to install the ChatGPT official application. Open your app store and then start looking for ChatGPT, C-H-A-T-G-P-T, and make sure that you're looking for the official application because there are a lot of clones. It should say that official app by OpenAI and you should see organization as OpenAI. Click install it. And once you click install it, if you have uh, any ID, it's going to ask you to verify the Apple account. Then you will get three options. Continue with Apple, continue with Google, sign up with email and login. If you already have an account, you can log in. Otherwise, select whichever format that you like and then continue with that. Once you do that, it would ask you to create an account for the first time if you're doing it. Give your username, password, connect with your phone number, get the code, enter the code. You have officially created your OpenAI account and it is going to help you use ChatGPT within your iOS device using the official application. You can start with the first message and we usually start with our classical message. Tell me a joke about Elon Musk. And in fact, when you try to type Elon Musk, of course, Apple will make some typo correction and let's see what ChatGPT does. So ChatGPT is looking for an answer and it recognized that I'm sp speaking about Elon Musk and it is giving me a joke. So while ChatGPT has given me the joke, now let's go install the second application. So the second step in our process is to install a shortcut called Let's Chat. It has been created by McKay Wrigley. So this entire thing is possible because of McKay and this short shortcut which connects the shortcut connects Siri's front end to ChatGPT's back end. So in the front, you have Siri. In the back, you have got ChatGPT. So you get the power of voice to text to speech with Siri and text to speech and voice to text both. And you get the power of ChatGPT's amazing brilliance and intelligence. And first, let's install the shortcut from the tweet in which McKay actually made this announcement. Once you click the shortcut link, it's going to add that shortcut to your list of shortcuts that you have got. And all you have to do is click open the shortcut, a let's chat, and it is going to ask you to continue a chat, like start a new chat. That means your shortcut, the let's chat shortcut, which binds Siri and chat GPT has been successfully installed. Now we have completed step one, which is to install OpenAI application, the app, step two, which is to install the shortcut let's chat. Now it is step three, where you have to just open your iPad and then start saying, hey Siri, let's chat. This will work only if your iPad or iPhone listens to your voice for hey Siri invoke command. If that is not available, then either you need to enable that in the settings or you have to manually open Siri and start saying let's chat, which is the invoke command here to start chatting or making Siri chat with ChatGPT. Hey Siri, let's chat. New chat or continue chat? New chat. Yes. Yes. Hello, I'm here to assist you with any questions or tasks you have. How can I help you today? Can you tell me a joke about Elon Musk? Sure. Here's a joke about Elon Musk. Why did Elon Musk start a comedy club on Mars? Because he wanted to create some space humor. Hey, can you tell me your name? Certainly. I am ChatGPT, a friendly AI assistant here to help you. Is there something specific you would like assistance with? Can you access internet? One moment. As an AI language model, 
I don't have direct access to the internet. My responses are generated based on the information and training data I received up until September 2021. However, I can still provide you with a wide range of general knowledge and engage in informative and interesting conversations. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to ask. I want to ask about what kind of things you can do. One moment. Still on it. Hey Siri, let's chat. New chat or continue chat? Continue chat. Yes. Yes. One moment. Sure. Here are some examples of what I can do. 1. Answer questions. I can provide information on a wide range of topics, from general knowledge to specific hey Siri, inquiries stop. to... Hey Siri, let's chat. I apologize for any confusion, but I'm not Siri. I'm ChatGPT, a different AI assistant. Is there anything specific you'd like help with? I want to know who invented Apple iPhone. On it. The Apple iPhone was invented by a team of engineers and designers at Apple Inc. Hey, led Siri, by Steve stop. Job. I apologize for any confusion, but I'm not Siri. I'm ChatGPT, an AI assistant developed by OpenAI. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to let me know. Hey, ChatGPT, can you write a Python code for me that uh, takes um, some data and uh, build a machine learning model at the end and then can show some plot? Working on that. Certainly, I can help you with that. To build a machine learning model and visualize the data using Python, you'll need to have the necessary libraries installed, hey, such as scikit-learn and matplotlib. Here's a sample hey, code Siri. to get you started. Can you send this as an email? I apologize for the confusion, but as an AI language model, I don't have the capability to send emails directly. However, you can easily copy the code provided and send it via email from your email client or service. Hey, Siri. Simply copy the code. Hey Siri, can you sing a nice poem for me to sleep? So this is how you would install the Let's Chat shortcut and connect it with ChatGPT application and you let Siri talk to that application. And just with your invoke command, Hey Siri, you can now use ChatGPT to explore the world of OpenAI large language models. This is honestly amazing. I would like to hear from you if you have an iOS device. What did you feel about this? after you try this out. I mean, Siri has been, um, Siri has its own shortcomings, but to have ChatGPT as the backend of Siri is purely mind blowing. Once again, thanks to the developer who made this possible without whom otherwise it wouldn't have been possible. McKay, Wrigley, thank you so much for making this shortcut and making it available for everybody to use.